To kill Ardeo, you will need 70 range to be able to use a Webweaver bow, and your magic level needs to be high enough to cast either binding spells with normal magic or freeze spells with ancient magics. Recommended skill levels are 90 plus range and 79 plus magic. If you're only focused on killing the boss and don't really care about anti pking this is the gear setup that I recommend you wear. The most important part about this setup is the charge Webweaver bow. I typically put 2k ether in my bow, but please feel free to put as much ether as you're comfortable with risking in the wilderness. The Webweaver's special attack is really good to use here as it can do a lot of damage to the boss, and the special attack only takes 50% to use. Another important thing about this setup is the Light Bearer Ring. The Light Bearer Ring will regenerate your special attack energy twice as fast as normal. Since the main focus of this setup is to kill the boss, the Light Bearer Ring will allow for you to get more special attacks off during your trip, which can mean more boss kills per trip. This setup also provides a good combination of range bonuses, magic bonuses, and prayer bonuses. For the inventory, I recommend bringing 6 Super Restores, 2 Ceridome and Brews, 2 Fordos Ranging Pots, 1 Stamina and 1 Anti-Venom, a Looting Bag, a Charged Glory, and either Blighted Ancient Sacks or Blighted Entangle Sacks to be able to freeze the boss. And the rest of the inventory should be filled with Anglerfish or the best food you can afford. You can bring along a different teleport option other than a Charged Glory if you prefer. Since the boss room is in 21 Wilderness, you can Tele out with a Ring of Wealth or Seed Pod if preferred. The Seed Pod is definitely the best option to use here as it is a one-click Tele in case a PKer comes. With this setup, the four items you will keep on death if you're using the Protect Item Prayer are your Webweaver Bow, your Necklace of Anguish, your Light Bearer Ring, and your Imbued Mage Cape 2. Please keep in mind that if you are killed by a Picare, you will also lose all of the Aether in your bow as well. If you prefer to anti-PK while killing Ardeo, this is the gear setup that I recommend you wear. Since this setup is focused on killing the boss and anti-PKing, I recommend wearing an Imbued Ring of Suffering filled with recoils if you have it. The Imbued Ring of Suffering will give you plus 20 magic defense, which can help you survive if a PKer comes. The Suffering will also do a lot of damage back to the PKer as well. I also recommend bringing along some type of melee spec weapon with you so that you can try and spec out and anti-PK any peers that come and try to kill you. I typically bring Dragon Claws with me, but you can bring along whatever spec weapon you prefer. For the inventory, I recommend bringing 6 Super Restores, 4 Sarah Brews, 1 Fordos Super Combat Potion, 1 Fordos Ranging Potion, 1 Stamina and 1 Anti-Venom, a Looting Bag, a Charged Glory, a melee spec weapon of your choice, and either Blighted Ancient Sacks or Blighted Entangle Sacks to freeze the boss and freeze any PKers that hit you, and the rest of the inventory should be filled with Anglerfish or the best food you can afford. With this setup, the 4 items you will keep on death if you're using the Protect Item Prayer are your Dragon Claws, your Webweaver Bow, your Necklace of Anguish, and your Imbued Ring of Suffering. Also keep in mind that if you are killed by a PKR, you will also lose all of the Aether in your bow as well. There are two easy ways to get to Ardeo. The first way is by running from the Ferex Enclave. From the Ferex Enclave, all you need to do is run off the north exit and head northwest through the trees until you see a cave entrance in level 20 wilderness. Once you enter this cave, you will be in the Ardeo boss room. The second way to get to Ardeo is by teleporting to Karalanger. You can do this by using a Karalanger portal in your POH, or using a Karalanger teleport tab, or by teleporting to Karalanger with Ancient Magics. I typically just use the POH for this method, as I like to hit my max pool first before I kill Ardeo. That way I know that my stats, my prayer, and my run energy are fully restored. Once you tele into Karalanger, all you need to do is head directly west until you reach the cave entrance. When starting the fight, you should always have Prey range up and be ready to switch to Prey Mage. The boss can start with either attack, but for the most part he typically starts with his range attack. When the boss does spawn, you should try and freeze him immediately. You can use Ice Blitz, Ice Barrage, or Entanglement spells for this. Ardeo's range attack looks like a crescent-shaped projectile, so when you see this attack, just pray range. When Ardeo looks like he's doing a step back animation, he is preparing to do his magic attack. His magic attack looks like a wind blast, and you will need to Prey Mage to avoid taking any damage or getting knocked back from it. If you fail to pray mage against his magic attack, Ardeo can hit you for up to 50 damage and knock your character backwards, sort of like stunning you for a brief second. Whenever Ardeo turns red and looks like he is howling up into the sky, he will break himself free from any type of freeze spells, or any entanglement spells. You will have to refreeze him again if he does this. Sometimes right after you refreeze him after he turned red, he will break himself free again and you have to refreeze him again. Don't ever assume that you have time to relax during a kill because Ardeo can break himself free at any time. When Ardeo gets down to 66% health, he will throw out red bear traps in random locations throughout the room. Try not to step into these traps as they will hold you in place for a few seconds. You can avoid getting caught in the traps by standing next to them first before stepping over them. To do this, all you need to do is stand next to the trap before you click over it. You can do this on any side of the trap and even from corner to corner. However, if you run across the room and don't stop before you run over the trap, you will get caught in it.
If you're worried about accidentally skulling on someone in the wilderness, you can turn on your PK skull prevention by going into your controls setting by clicking your wrench. Make sure that the PK skull prevention has a green check mark next to it, and that will mean you can't skull on other players in the wilderness. If you have an alt account that you can use and you're worried about dying to PKers while doing RDO, you can always leave your alt account outside of the cave so that way you'll have an extra set of eyes outside of the cave to see if any PKers log in or to see if any PKers are coming. And that was my 60 attack, 1 defense peer guide on how to kill Ardeo. I hope this guide has given you some clarity on what items to bring and how to kill the boss. If you have found a better method to kill Ardeo, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more guides like this one. Thank you for watching, good luck on your pet grind, and I hope to see you in the next guide.